and welcome to Enquire to Choir. My name is Eva and I'm here to help you, fellow choir people. This video is for choir directors, choir conductors who are trying to convince people to join their choir. Or if you are not a choir director but you wish to be a choir singer, then this is a video for you. I will give you 10 real reasons. Also, probably, if you're thinking about joining a choir, you have some excuses for yourself or for others. I will make you figure out that these excuses are just excuses. So let's start with the video. Then real reasons why you should join a choir and five excuses for doing so we're going to toss. Reason number one, plain and simple. If you join a choir, you meet new people. Once we leave school, once we leave our education, it becomes harder to meet new people because we're not just set up in those situations. Well, if you join a choir, you will meet new people. You come to the rehearsals, you sit next to some other people and eventually you will spark up a conversation. You go through similar experiences, you have to communicate with other people in the choir to figure some things out. All of that makes you meet new people. And if you're in the same choir, that means that probably you have something in common. You love music, you love singing, yes, but you also probably live in the same area. You have some similar interests, maybe. You have similar conversations. Do you know how hard it is to find someone who you can actually talk to? well it's better chance that you will find someone like that in the choir you are joining that said if those are not people who are very similar to you they are much younger or they are much older there is still a great benefit of meeting new people in any case you can meet someone who is in your field when it comes to your job when it comes to your work you can meet some very important people who are very high up someplace in some workplace and you can have a reference or a connection it's an ideal chance to network like choir is a huge network Networking opportunity but please know that you cannot join a choir just to network with people you have to like be in a choir and the networking will come naturally the truth is in any case if you join a choir you will likely meet people who will some of them stay in your life and throughout your life once you leave the choir or other people leave the choir you will have this shared experience so who knows maybe in 20 years you meet someone at a birthday party of some kid and you realize that the parent's cousin was your choir friend that's very cool so yes you can join a choir for that reason reason number two you will feel valued Listen, if you join a choir and you sing in a choir, you will maybe not get the recognition as a soloist, that's natural. You are in the group and singing with the group, but the fact of life is you will still feel valued without feeling the pressure of being the sole component. Every singer is very important in a choir, uh, especially if you have a very good choir director, then the director doesn't make a difference between the choir members. Every singer in a choir is very valuable and you will feel that. You will feel Feel that it makes a difference if you're there at the rehearsal and for the performance and if you're not if you join a choir you will feel valued and it will translate into other fields in your life reason number three is something that other people find trivial but I done some research why people join a choir and why they stay in the choir and they always say the same thing you eat you travel you wear fancy stuff and you see people listen I know singing in a choir can seem like oh we're going to auditions we're singing we're together la 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 that's all true but trust me maybe you get some experiences you never got before like you get to eat at fancy banquets for real you have a performance performance and many times many 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 times you get served lovely food because you were there at a fancy event and that fancy event has fancy food you get to travel you don't have to go very far with your choir I mean you don't have to go to the other part of the world but maybe you get to travel to just a place down the street with your choir but nonetheless you will see some institutions opportunities communities venues from the inside that you never thought 
thought you would be visiting at all or seeing in any capacity. Look at it like that. It's an opportunity to experience the world in a new way. You wear something fancy, yes, because when you sing in a choir, chances are you have a uniform. It's a shared experience and there is something very valuable when it comes to that. Reason number four, if you join a choir, you will have a new routine. Listen, there is a whole field out there on social media about having a routine. I will say for myself, I love having a routine, but I'm not very strict about it. But I realized that if I have some kind of a routine, I feel better. And it doesn't have to be on a daily basis. It can be on a weekly basis. And if you join a choir once or twice a week, you have to be someplace. For example, every Monday or, for example, every Tuesday and Thursday, you have to be someplace. And and yes, it means that you have to schedule the time. But as you probably know, if you have some kind of a routine, you probably feel better. And that small routine can translate into your life. It goes with the feeling valuable and feeling valued and having a purpose. Reason number five that is connected to all of the above. You can feel your progress. Being in a choir means training. You come to the rehearsal, you warm up your voice, you sing and you make progress with your voice, but you also learn new scores, you also learn new music, you feel the connection with other singers and you work together as a team, but you have to put your best foot forward in order to help the group. And you will feel the frustrations, you will feel the progress, you will feel the amazing performances and you will feel that you're lacking something and you need to practice more. You will feel the cumulative effect of a group which is doing well and which is doing maybe not that well in a certain moment and overcoming that. That feeling, that feeling of progress that you're getting someplace can make you feel convinced that you can tackle other stuff as well. If you start the season with the simplest song and then continue to do a very complicated song, a very huge music score and you succeed at that as a choir, that has an effect on your soul as well. So if you feel that progress, you realize that and you feel that if you really try, you can get someplace. So it's very rewarding. And the best part of that journey is that it's not always linear. Again, it is a metaphor for life. Reason number six, plain and simple, you perform. And yes, you perform at fancy events, in concert halls, in small halls, in retirement places to bring joy to other people. But the best part of performing is tackling on a public performance. You are in a choir, but you're practicing public performance. And you feel that honest truth about music that once you're on the stage, you have to just do it. Tackling that fear, tackling that situation, tackling that show must go on feeling will translate into your life. You will become better at handling public performances without being exposed as a single person doing a public performance. That's the biggest advantage of singing in a choir. You are with your people. You are not alone, but you're still practicing. Reason number seven, you connect with people. And I mean spiritually. You go through some things together, you know, you are a group that experiences things together, so you will connect to people and you will feel the sense of community. Not everyone is lucky enough to have people in their life who are there for a person. Maybe you have a few friends, but you don't have a sense of community. Feeling a community it is worth joining a choir, like really, truly, it's worth it. It's worth it. And you will feel the sense of community. Even if you spend every rehearsal, every performance not talking to anybody. A very practical reason. You are physically active while in a choir. Singing, first of all, if somebody is teaching you how to sing, you're using your body. You're maybe not doing aerobic exercises or doing, you know, high interval intense training. But singing is better than just sitting. You learn how to use your breath and you work on your stamina and you work on your cognitive skills because there is a lot of things you have to do while singing in a choir. But you are physically more active than if we're just sitting around. And especially if you have a choir that requires some choreography or standing all of the time, you build on your stamina without even realizing it. Reason number nine, you sing. 
I know it's obvious. I want to be in a choir, I want to sing. Yes, but you really sing in a choir. Have you ever felt the resonance of a choir? Have you ever felt the dynamics? The loud sound, the quiet sound, the mesmerizing choir sound. And you are singing. You are using your voice. You are learning about your voice. And you are not taking private lessons. Private lessons. The vocal coach can be very expensive and very tedious. And often they can look like something you do not want because if it's an individual practice, it's very tenacious and very detailed. But in a choir, you learn about your voice, you learn how to sing better, you sing all of the time and you have to use your voice. And you get to use your voice. Which brings me to the last reason, last of the many we can actually talk about, but I'm trying to be real here. Reason number 10, you are heard. If you sing in a choir, you are heard. Trust me, I know it sounds very meta, but it's very true. Not all people are created equal when it comes to the way they want to use their voice. Some people are extroverted, some people are introverted, some people are striving to be a soloist, some people just want to sing. Some people are never heard in their life and they do not know how to use their voice when it comes to all aspects of life. If you are taught in the choir to just sing, like let it all out, it will translate it will translate to other aspects of your life, trust me, because if you learn how to use your voice during the choir practice, you will definitely feel more capable, more free, and more understood in your real life. There is something about being in a group of people and training your soul. Okay, and now your excuses. You heard the reasons, but you have excuses. I know your excuses. I've heard them all, but let's handle the top five. Excuse number one, it's not for me. Listen, have you ever been in a choir? Okay, if you have ever been in a choir and thought after that, it's not for me, but you're still thinking about joining a choir, maybe you were just in the wrong choir for you. There are many, 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 many choirs around you. You just have to find the right one. And not every choir is created equal. If you say, it's not for me, and you have never been in a choir, listen, you do not know what being in a choir means. If you have never been in a choir, you cannot say that it's not for you. You don't have to even go to audition, you, you don't have to join, but you can visit several rehearsals of the same choir, you can feel the atmosphere, you can, you can see what the choir director is like, you can visit, you can try. Don't say something is not for you just because you don't want to go there. It's same with food. How can you say that you don't like something if you haven't tried it? Excuse number two. It's lame. Listen, I know there are movies where the choir was for those people maybe or choir was a requisite for getting a better grade and you had a really bad music teacher and you don't like anything that has to do with choirs. Fair? Been there? That doesn't mean that you will not like any other choir. And if you think that it's lame, why are you thinking about joining a choir if it's lame? It's obviously not so lame. People in the choir are actually one of the coolest people in the world. Seriously, because they're used to so many things, so many people, so many conversations, so many scores, so many different ambience and so many different experiences. So maybe they were not cool in school where you went, but nowadays they're probably more cool than you think. So if you think that it's lame, just try it and see it for yourself. Excuse number three can seem legit, but hear me out. Excuse number three, I can't sing. Listen, Maybe that's true. I will not counteract that because maybe it's true. Maybe you cannot sing. Maybe you don't know how to sing. But maybe you just think you cannot sing. It's different. It's not either or. Things take time. Things can be trained, especially when it comes to singing. You don't have to be the biggest voice, the loudest voice, the most trained voice to join a choir. There are many choirs, there are many amateur choirs that are at your level. And it's good to choose a choir that is on your level, the level you think 
you are at because you will feel better. But trust me, choir directors know how to work with voices and they can teach you how to sing. It's not about you can't sing now, so that means you will never learn how to sing. And it's actually very cool to try to learn singing this way. Excuse number four. Everybody in the choir will think I am bad at it. Yes, if you join a choir where many mean people are, maybe some of them will be bad towards you. But that's just how things are in life. That doesn't necessarily mean that it will happen to you. But in general, nobody will think about you in that way. Everybody's thinking about themselves. And if you're not good at it, the choir director will work with you in a way that will make you be better. And it's not just about you singing. While you're singing, you're listening to others because you are in a circle of other people who are singing the same thing as you are. So it works in your favor. Nobody will think you're bad at it. And if somebody thinks you're bad at it, you will work on it and you will become better and you will feel the progress and you will feel valued. And then you will realize that you can do anything in your life you wanted to. And excuse number five, which, okay, I admit is very common and I understand where it comes from, and that is you are scared to go for the audition. Yes, it's really bad to expose yourself like that for the audition, but not every audition is created equal. If you're thinking about joining a choir, learn about that choir, that particular choir, what their practices are, what their rules are, do they have the audition, what kind of an audition they have. You know, maybe you have a wrong impression what an audition looks like, because maybe you've seen in the movies that you go on the stage and there is a jury in the audience and then they ask you things and stuff. That's not how an audition looks in any of my choirs, and I have seven. Think about the audition process you can work with someone for the audition and you can talk to the choir and to the choir director when it comes to a particular audition. So it's not either or, okay? You can figure it out. Did this work? Will you join a choir? It's important to say that choirs are very cool, choirs are amazing, and we need more choir people. We need more choir singers in our choirs. So join. You never know what tomorrow brings. You can have the most fun in your life. Just try it. Okay, so that's it. That was the video. This is actually a channel usually for choir directors, but I made an exception. If you wish to see more from Inquire to Choir, you can subscribe. And if you wish to do something else, you can like the video. Typical YouTube stuff, you know. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and good luck. Conduct well, conductors, and I'll see you next time. Bye!